All right, this is a quick walk around video for our beautiful 2017 Volkswagen Touareg. This is the R-Line Plus model. I'll talk you through some of the additional features that this car's got uh, in a second, but uh, we'll also just do a, a quick walk around tour just to show you the overall condition and everything like that as well. Um, the car is finished in metallic black, uh, absolutely beautiful condition. The car is actually due to have a polish and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so it's just had a, a, a single stage sort of uh, valet at the moment, um, and then some additional uh, bodywork we've done and, uh, and polishing and things like that as well. Um, the uh, Certainly this, hardly any uh, stone chips or anything like that to mention um, other than as you would ex uh, sort of expect just around the front um, but certainly nothing excessive at all even on the leading edges and stuff like that there's not actually anything really here to point out um, that would be over and above kind of standard wear and tear levels you would be fighting the um, low sun at the moment uh, let's try and get this done quite quickly um, all wheels are actually in pretty good condition um, I think this front one here is completely unmarked absolutely nothing on there at all and then this back one here little chip mark to the top there but otherwise all in very good condition rear bumper there's a very small indent here just on the chrome strip here I've had a quick quick look online and I think we're able to replace um, this entire part quite easily um, so that will be um, we've got, got one of those um, to be ordered this afternoon um, Otherwise, all pretty good. I don't think there's anything here to point out. And then this wheel, again, in really lovely condition. That's just some tyre blackness that's not damaged at all. And then all the way down the side, here again, it's really nice. You've got ever such small mottling just starting to come through on these chromes. Um, they do suffer a little bit with it, um, but again, I think we're actually by the time we've done some polishing and stuff like that, it should improve ever so slightly. Um, but just wanting to give a full sort of report on the um, on the car. Um, the front wheel here, again, actually all in perfect condition. So really, it's just that one chip on the rear wheel, and then across the front. All really nice here as well. You'll see the additional adaptive cruise sensors on the front. And yeah, nothing really to point out here. I would say that I think this door has probably had some uh, previous paintwork. You can just see very, very carefully um, in there, just a, a tiny little bit of mottling. Um, that's a, a sort of a bit of a trained eye kind of spotting that. Um, but ultimately, it doesn't notice too much. It's just, um, just wanted to make you aware of that. Again, I think we might be able to improve that slightly with some flatting and polishing as well. Um, but overall, for the age and mileage of the car, I think it presents really, really beautifully. Through to the back, previous owner had a very decent load liner in the back there to protect the carpets. The carpets are all in absolutely perfect condition. You've got controls here for the air suspension and also um, for the deployable tow bar as well, which comes out and just clips into the side there. And then you've got your electric socket on the side. Simply press the button again, and that pole folds out, and just click that straight back up there. Uh, the rest of the boot, all really lovely. And underneath, you've got your emergency spare wheel, air compressor, locking wheel nut, and everything like that in place as well. Close that down. Through to the back. Leather in the back is really in absolutely fabulous condition, as you'll see. And all the carpets and seat backs and everything like that. Only very, very minimal amounts of wear. Tiny, tiny little sort of scuff marks and things like that, just from use, but certainly nothing exceptional at all. Uh, the car is also fitted with keyless entry, so you just press your thumb on the button there to lock it. And just put your hand on the door handle to unlock. You've got the electric seats that are standard on the R-Line Plus model. And the beautiful piano black inlays. The all important air suspension control and adaptive damper control there as well for comfort, normal or sport, mo uh, sport mode. And then the keyless start as well. But yeah, all the leather on the doors and everything, all in really nice condition. Steering wheel hasn't gone all nasty and shiny or anything like that, still retained a really lovely sort of matte finish to it. And then you've also got the uh, adaptive cruise control functions there as well. 
just start the engine. See the mileage is just under 49,000. And this is an area that can normally get quite heavily scuffed um, just from rings and things like that. But again, it's been really well looked after. There's nothing really to, to point out there at all. Uh, you've got heated seats for the front, dual zone climate control as well. We've got the 360 cameras. So you've got the top and all the side views, junction views, rear camera and over the top there as well. Just showing that all of those work as they should. Heated steering wheel. And then this particular car has got a number of different ass assist settings on it as well. So you've got the uh, adaptive cruise control that I've mentioned. It's also got lane assist uh, that just um, vibrates with the steering wheel to let you know that you're sort of drifting in the lanes. Um, side assist, um, which is the uh, flashing lights here on the side. I think I might be able to get that. There you go. Oh, it's LED. It's not really showing up on the camera. Um, but uh, you've basically got the lights there on the side um, that, uh, that will warn you if somebody's coming up in your, in your blind spot. Um, and then because of the all of the sort of cameras and everything like that for the adaptive cruise control at the top as well you've got all the front assist and everything um, and uh, uh, passenger protection and everything like that as well uh, and it's also got the dynamic road road display as well um, so when you're on a main road and not in the middle of an industrial estate it'll come up here and tell you uh, what the current um, speed limit is um, for, for the area that you're in um, other than that obviously standard items for the R-Line Plus full European satellite navigation, uh, DAB digital radio, Bluetooth audio streaming for, for your media, uh, and Bluetooth obviously for telephone as well. But really, really nice. Um, car, if we come through to the servicing section, it's got a full Volkswagen service history all the way through. Um, the next oil change is suggesting it's coming up in 87 days, but I will just check that against the um, the service book. I seem to remember it was a bit more recent than that. Um, and the next major inspection uh, in 452 days or 16,000 miles, whichever one comes soonest. Um, full panoramic sunroof. Uh, lovely full length panoramic sunroof. It's a tilt and slide as well, so you can pop it um, up from the top. And then you've also got an electric blind um, that comes across here. And covers the whole area. All controlled from the control panel up here. Should have a quick look under the bonnet. See, it's all beautifully clean under here as well. Um, historically, telephone uh, cameras and audio recording equipment make uh, an engine sound very rattly, which I'm fully expecting to hear when we, um, when we edit the video, but I can promise you that it's, um, it's very, very smooth and lovely. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. I've shown you all the bits and pieces that the car's got. Um, overall, like I said, really lovely condition. No marks to the headlining or anything like that. All really nice. And yeah, hope that uh, gives you enough information.